Let's try D4. D5. Go for London. Shall I fight E3? Against this system in general, we just try to go for a quick queen b3 and attack b7. It's very unpleasant for black to defend. So for now, I'll go bishop g3, h5. h5 is a bit odd because now I can play queen b3 and just. It's seriously hard for black to defend b7 somehow, which is very strange, but it's just. So it's very annoying, like you don't want to play b6 and if you play queen c8, you come under a pin. And queen b6 with the bishop, with the dark square bishop pawn, it's, it comes under c5, that's the problem usually. This time c5, black just goes back queen c7. That's the typical way to deal with this one, so. For now, I think I'll just go queen h3. Um, I can accept five plus zero two for sure. Okay, so knight d seven. Hmm, not so easy actually. Okay, I'll just make some. I'll just make some moves. A group c one, knight f six, knight f three. Okay. Black's problems that he can't catch me because my queen on a3 stops it. Yeah. In my opinion, black should try to go for some a5 on queen b4. Um, and just try to exchange queens and catch me. Maybe not even take a3. Just keep it like that and catch me. Because it will be always bad for me to take on b4. My opponent is trying to do something else, which is also logical. So I'll just go bishop e2. Let's see three take the rook. Yeah, now I think there's a nice move. Like normally we just recapture on c4 with the rook or bishop, but I think knight d2 is nice. The point is, okay, you take on c4 and you come to d6 with tempo. And it seems quite strong to me. And also, apart from this, uh, we are attacking h5. The bishop, the bishop is now open, and yeah, this is quite good to me. So knight f6, knight c4. Next move is knight d6. I can in fact remove that. Now the black king just doesn't have a good square. Like king d8 might be the least of all units. Now I can take f7. This is the, this is the problem with king d7. Now the okay, next move is knight e5 check. Knight d5 is a good move. Still think I'll go knight e5 check. Looking for more sacrifice too. Okay, now it's a mate. Almost by force. Bishop takes h5 and now maybe black can still fight on with king d8 actually. I initially missed this. Mm, but okay, knight f7 is still great for me. Knight f7, king d7, but it's not clear. So I think I just blundered. Okay, let's play king d2, I guess. Right? Doesn't matter. Basically, my point is that after g6, I just move the bishop and. And if rook h1, there's queen f8 mate. And 
not a check on v1. So I'm just moving my king arrow from the check. Okay, the blunder still looks straight away. All right. Yeah, that was a bit lucky for sure. 